have the perfect family, house, car, and in perfect health. But are you protected from any possible situations such as accidents, fires, or illness? Most people apply for insurance policies depending on the needs of their family. However, there are some insurance companies who take advantage of this, promising to provide services and protection. But in the end, it is not so. The plan is life plan. This is a memorial plan also. Uh, it's a uh, 60,000 pesos contract, uh, quarterly mode of payment. The plan was uh, bought in the year 2004 and then it ends in 2009 until something happens to Prudential Life just uh, recently, last year ago. Because I have uh, the pertinent documents and we really submitted it, although the lines are long and the hassle, and it took me one day, one whole day to, to just to claim, and then it took him one whole day also just to process. It's really a big hassle. Of course, it hurts us that uh, you have to work hard to earn your money and then to invest in these uh, pre-need companies. And we only receive almost 60% of it, around 30,000 pesos. So I think it's better, at least, uh, um, this is a learning experience also. How do you apply for an insurance policy? How do you know which insurance policies and providers are the best ones for you and your family? How can you be protected from companies that are supposed to be protecting you but don't? Good evening, you are watching Legal Help Desk on the Solar News Channel. This show is about making the law work for you by giving legal advice on topics that matter to you. I'm attorney Karen Jimeno. And I'm attorney Rod Nepomuceno. Tonight, we will discuss your legal rights on the issue of insurance policies, what you need to know and do about applying for one, and which ones are the best for you and your family. Our guest for tonight is attorney Chris A. Rafal, Chief Public Assistance and Mediation Division of the Insurance Commission of the Philippines. Good evening, attorney Chris. Good evening, attorney Karen. Good evening, attorney Rod. Good evening, um, attorney Chris. Good evening, everyone. And good evening to all the viewers of Solar News Channel. It is a pleasure that um, the Insurance Commission was invited in yes, tonight's Yes, it's a pleasure show. for us to have yeah, you here. You're, Thank we're, you. We are insured to have a good show today. Right? <laughs> right? Nice. Right. Tag <laughs> nine, Rob. <laughs> no, this is one topic that uh, I'm always interested in because mm -hmm. it affects everyone. And, and even in my law school days, I've always thought that this is something like you know, because it's a contract of adhesion, right? yes. it's, it's a contract that's normally drawn up by a big company and you're supposed to just sign on the dotted line. You, the other party almost have, has nothing to, to say. It's a contract yes. of adhesion and that, that's why in that regard, it's always construed in favor of the insured, right? But it remains, um, the, the insurance remains a consensual agreement. Yes, it, it does. Uh -huh. So the, the other party or the insured has the right to, right to not uh, to accept any of course, yeah. insurance. Yeah. And Attorney Chris, uh, before we started the show kanina, I was very interested with what you said. And you said that in the Philippines actually, we're generally underinsured, meaning mm -hmm. most Filipinos do not have enough insurance or actually lack insurance. Can you explain this? I agree because um, the insurance industry in the Philippines is relatively small mm. as compared to the banking industry. Mm. But um, it is of my opinion that um, it is imperative to have an insurance mm -hmm. because insurance allows a person or a business or an entity mm -hmm. to um, have protection for mm -hmm. significant losses. So mm. it's advisable for people, for Filipinos, to get insurance? Yes, correct. Mm. Okay. And, and, and all forms, no? All forms, well, oh. whether it's life and health and, med, and med, um, I guess medical and, and property insurance. Oh, yes. There's yeah. even yeah. Car, insurance, car insurance, right? insurance I think yeah. Attorney Chris should also clarify because I've, ha I've had this experience several times. I'd go to some friends, I'd ask them, do you have car insurance? And they say, oh, meron. Yung pala, they refer to the TPL, yung third party mm. liability na required in it's order mandatory. to get yes. a license for the car, yeah. right? A registration. So, can you clarify, ano ba talaga yung car TPL. insurance na sufficient pag nabangga ka and difference yan from the TPL? No. Under the insurance code, um, the compulsory motor vehicle liability insurance, the provisions thereat, um, it requires 
compulsory insurance coverage as far as third party liabilities is, is concerned. Mm -hmm. Now, if a car owner would want his car to be insured, then he has to get a comprehensive motor vehicle insurance. Mm -hmm. So that insurance would include now the car. Okay. Mm -hmm. right. And comprehensive would mean na pag mabangga ka, hindi mo na po problemahin na kahit kasalanan mo. You can claim from the insurance company? Is yes. That the damage to the, 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 the your car and all, damage to your car and also injuries, right? Yes. But uh, to, uh, you're in the topic anyway of, uh, of car insurance. There's what you call, which is, again, a lot of uh, the televiewers and a lot of my friends get normally confused about participation. You know, that, that, that whole concept na, oh, comprehensive naman yung insurance ko ah. But the uh, insurance company says, oh, you have to pay first. If the repair of the car is 30000 but you have to pay first around 4000 That's your participation. Can, can, you, can you clarify that concept of participation? Yeah, th that's basically a stipulation embodied in a comprehensive motor vehicle insurance. Mm -hmm. uh, this um, is the, the comprehensive? Or comprehensive, comprehensive okay. yeah. To include the, the car itself. Mm -hmm. And um, in a way, my share, yung insured, my yeah, share yeah, in, yeah. The, in the damage. You know? a, a portion. A portion of it. And a it's, little percentage. And it's normally, usual, it's normally standard sa mga Uh, yes. Insurance. Uh, okay. Yes. And then mm -hmm. I've also heard some people say na kunwari, in a year if they get into more than one accident or two or three accidents, they're gonna say, oh no, next year tataas na naman yung premium payments ko. Is that fair for an insurance company to increase the premiums from an insured pagkalaging na aksidente? I think so because um, in that case, the risk is high mm. because there is already a What, what do you call this, a history of the insured um, going over this, I mean, ha having to experience these um, accidents or mishaps. Mm -hmm. So the risk would be higher. No, so, in, in terms of, uh, as you would say, but when, when, when computing premiums and computing also, parang, again, again, the face value of the, of the insurance, uh, what, what is taken into consideration in determining what the premium is and what is the insurable amount is? Basically, uh, for, for if that's a property or a non-life insurance, mm -hmm. um, basically that type of insurance is, a, is an indemnity. I mean, mm -hmm. it's basically an indemnity. Mm -hmm. So the, the computation of the value of the property is very um, critical. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, it's What would be the basis? It would be the replacement cost? The replacement cost of that? Yes, that can item. be the basis. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. All right. And Attorney Chris, can you at least tell our viewers what are the normal requirements if they get insurance? For instance, life insurance. What are the normal basic requirements that they can get sa kanila? Okay. Um, the requirements basically depend on what product you're mm -hmm. going to acquire or obtain from. Mm -hmm. A company. Mm -hmm. Okay, now normally the agents of these insurance companies would require you to fill up an application form. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. in, in non life, I think it is imperative that you have to have proof of your ownership or interest over the property insured. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, that is not um, required in life insurance. Okay. okay. And um, meron po bang mga age na hindi na covered ng insurance? Na life insurance for instance or health insurance? Um, insurance companies, uh, it would depend on the insurance company mm -hmm. whether they would be offering like life insurance to an 80 year old or a 90 mm -hmm. year old. Mm -hmm. It would depend na. It would depend yes. kasi medyo mm -hmm. high risk. Yes. High risk. Yes. At the end of the day, no. an insurance contract is still a consensual contract. Ah, okay. You cannot so, force the insurance company other than the compulsory yeah. motor vehicle and the, um, what do you call this, the compulsory insurance with regard to o OFW, mm. OFWs. And field health is, to some extent, field health is also an insurance, right? Field health? Yes, some, yes. Oh, but it, yeah. that is not within the coverage the or jurisdiction of the right. insurance commission. Now, we have some uh, questions, uh, Attorney Chris. Now, we have some questions from our viewers. Let's try to answer some of them, of course, with the help of Attorney Chris. Our first question is from Luis. What if an insurance company closes ayan, and does not give us any warning or ample time to collect or cancel our policies with them? Or what if an insurance company uh, we bought a policy from turned out to be a scam? Yeah, where do we go? Okay, where, where can we report it and where can they get, get, get some kind of remedy? Okay, um, my, my answer to the first is that um, the sudden collapse of a company, of an insurance company, may not happen at mm -hmm. all. Because the insurance commission is mandated and is in fact um, 
monitoring the financial position and condition of each and every mm -hmm. insurance company so, yeah. and even pre-need companies. Mm -hmm. So I think the, the sudden I think they were, collapse. They were referring to think. the pre-need companies that closed down before, you know, you know, educational plans who were only covered by the SEC but were not covered by by the insurance commission. Can you clarify why those companies were not under um, the insurance commission? Uh, okay, because um, before the passage of the pre-need code, mm -hmm. we do not have any law covering pre-need plans. Right. So and it was only plans are not insurance. Technically, policies. they are not insurance okay. policies. So mm -hmm. it was only in January of 2010, where in pre need companies, the jurisdiction over pre need companies, were transferred mm -hmm. to the insurance commission. Can you explain why they're not insurance? They're not considered insurance uh, contracts. Like pre need pre need contracts are not uh, legally. Why why are they not? considered insurance contracts. Its business model is business substantially model. different from that of an insurance mm -mm. Oh. business. Okay, I think oh. because Rod, it does, or it, Attorney Chris, correct me if right. I'm wrong, it does not indemnify a loss, meaning uh -oh. it does not replace or uh -oh. or uh, try to mm -hmm. make up for a loss, which yeah. is the uh, basis for a an insurance. A contingent oh, loss, right? Well, it's not a contingent loss. Because yeah. it's basically planning ahead mm, right, that right. I'll pay you now and then you pay my tuition mm. in but the future. But now covered no? now. Yes. Covered now. Okay. Uh -oh. So That's now good. covered. Right. And yeah. dun sa question kanina, pagka naloko ka ng fake insurance company, they can still go to the insurance commission? Yes, they could still go to the insurance commission okay. because this arguably these companies if they are not insured or licensed by the insurance commission arguably they're doing an insurance business okay. without the required license without the required okay. license okay that's good to know our next question is from brian and he asks what should i look for when shopping for insurance how will i know which insurance company provides the best services and are not part of a scam what should he look for um basically that decision lies with him mm. the person must be able to know what protection needs mm -hmm. he, he has right okay and this is with respect to choosing what kind of policies yes to get. with respect okay. to choosing what policies to get mm -hmm. okay because um remember you must be practical mm -hmm. you have to cover significant losses right let's say for example a thing valued at 50 pesos why would i insure it it's not practical to insure it mm -hmm. but life it's invaluable yeah, but um the death of one really has a negative yeah. impact that's mm -hmm. for a lifetime of the yeah. loved ones oh, and the families but any tips to find out kung scam lang yung insurance company kung ano sinasabi yeah. na oh buy this policy bayaran mo kaming premiums mm -hmm. tapos yung, yung pala hindi totoong insurance company red flags ba yan? yes uh, please inquire Ah, mm. uh, there you go. With the insurance commission. With the insurance commission. Yeah, yeah, you have a list. Yes, we have a list accredited. of um, accredited mm. or licensed insurance companies, pre-need companies. Mm -hmm. okay. And if these companies are not included in such list, then please do not yeah. buy. Okay. Or it's a very accept. good tip. Very good tip, yeah. We'll get your hotline later on. <laughs> okay, so we, we have another question and it's from Nate asking the man, with all these news of insurance companies closing down, how can we be assured uh, that, hmm, I wonder where he got that news, that the, the companies we brought in insurance so, from will not close down on us? You just mentioned that insurance companies don't just close down just like that. They do not. Uh, they don't, right? So, uh, not, have you heard no of any? sudden collapse. Mm. Because have, we keep monitoring the financial uh, situation. But have, have there been a number of insurance companies that have closed down recently as based on, at least Nate, he's been reading about? Recently, none. None. He's probably referring to mga pre-need uh, pre companies. companies uh, some yeah. of these pre-need companies are already under conservatorship. One oh. is under liquidation. I and see. under uh, the, there was recently an amendment to the insurance code last August 2013, hmm. which increased the capitalization requirement for insurance companies. Meron na ba kayo mga sinara na companies because they were not able to comply with the required minimum capital? Um, not yet. Mm. Um, because we still have to um, issue circulars covering mm. those provisions. I see. Okay. And um, the license of these companies was issued prior to the effecti effectivity of the um, insurance code. Oh, okay. So you it have, took they effect, have by the way, time. last um, September 20. I see. Mm, very recent. Wow. Okay. okay. Let's take a short break. Legal Help Desk will return after these messages.
You are still watching Legal Help Desk on the Solar News Channel. And we are still joined by our guest, Attorney Chris Rafal, Chief Public Assistance and Mediation Division of the Insurance Commission. Yeah. So, if, um, uh, Attorney Chris, if there are problems, no? uh, for example, I'm, I'm claiming and outright the insurance company goes, sorry, we won't, we won't process your claim for one reason or another, then doesn't really give a good reason. Uh, I, my remedy is to go to the insurance commission, is that correct? It is one of the remedies available okay. to the person, mm, to the what, insured. Uh, what is the other remedy? Well, I mean, what if are the, the other amounts remedies? involved would be exceeding 5 billion pesos, then they could go to, go to courts. Mm. Mm. If it exceeds 5 million pesos. Yes. If the amount of the claim exceeds mm. the jurisdictional amount of the mm -hmm. insurance commission, then... Can they can file be. two cases at the same time? Or let's say insurance commission, just to be sure, insurance commission and uh, the, the courts? No. It can yeah. if one of the cases is an administrative case. That ah, can be okay. filed before the insurance commission. I and see. the civil case, as far as the claim is concerned, will mm -hmm. be filed before the courts if it exceeds the 5 billion. Okay. Case. Now that we're talking about the separation in terms of filing with the insurance commission and the courts, what type of penalties can the insurance commission impose? With regard to the administrative proceeding, it can either suspend or even revoke the mm. license or the so, authority of the insurance company. So that's a tough penalty, right? That, that is, that oh, is. How so, are so. the may scam, a fake insurance company, who can have them imprisoned? Well, it would be filed before the courts. And will the insurance commission help the complainants? Yes, the insurance commission can aid the complainants mm. in the prosecution of these um, criminal cases mm -hmm. to be filed in court. And then, Attorney Chris, uh, what types of offenses normally are part of the mediation the insurance commission but, uh, okay um with regard to the mediation we have this that that is very that is an informal proceeding mm -mm. um unfair claim settlements practices mm -hmm. that would be one mm -hmm. of the cases that can be subject to a mediation mm -hmm. what mm -hmm. if uh, an insured kunware suddenly finds out that the insurance pol uh, company canceled their policy without informing them or kunwari yung sinasabi sa kanilang grounds for canceling the policy are being disputed by the insurance insured can they complain to the insurance commission and say the insurance company is being unfair or mistreating me yes okay. if the cancellation is without any ground mm -hmm. okay. all right now when it comes to beneficiaries can anyone be can you appoint anyone as a beneficiary does, he, uh, does it have to be your your most immediate can it be my friend? It can be anyone, or does it have, there? There has to be some some person uh, close to you, or a, a certain relative, uh, up to a certain uh, le level of consanguinity, consanguinity. Uh, or anyone. I can choose anyone as my. Benefit. It depends on the policy. Right. If it right. is a life, mm -hmm. basically anyone, mm -hmm. except right. those which are un covered by the rule on void donations. Because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. so it's practically right. a donation. Yeah, right. but with regard to a non-life or a property insurance. Mm -hmm. You must have an insurable interest on that property you are going to insure. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, there's no basis for you for to you have, have that claim. property uh, insured okay. because you do not have any interest in such mm -hmm. property. Right. Um, also, I'd like to go back to the case study natin kanina when mm -hmm. we started the show. Yeah. Can you explain to us ano nangyari dito yung sa prudential life? What, why was he saying na even if he paid for the premiums in the end, parang 60% lang yung nakuha nila from their claims. Um, okay, when... I have two clear things mm -hmm. on that. Um, when, when, the, when the spree need companies, when the jurisdiction over the spree need companies were transferred to the insurance commission, um, there was already an enormous trust deficiency, trust fund deficiency of prudential life. Mm -hmm. I think at that time, the amount was 11 billion. 11 billion. Nakulang Deficiency. Pa nila. Deficiency. Okay. Okay. Of the trust fund assets to answer for all the, the plans. For all the claims. Okay. For the future claims of um, the plan holders. Mm -hmm. So, what the commission did was to require the stockholders to infuse additional capital. Mm. In fact, the commission even went all the way to um, seek proponents mm -hmm. in order to at least revive. Mm -hmm. the 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 company but um unfortunately there was no viable rehabilitation plan mm. that's why the the commission did not have any choice but to 
to give at to, least uh, to liquidate to liquidate so China. for um in the our case in the case study he was lucky that he was mm -hmm. even able to get something from his policy yes. even if it was just 60 uh, percent a little bit no uh -oh, uh, because uh, in because the company went under baha iba wala pang yes. mm -hmm. because if, oh, if okay. you would if the continue the company would not be liquidated mm -hmm. there would be a possibility that the assets would go down yeah Mm -hmm. So, no, uh, the action was really to leak. I have a question with regard to, uh, this might be more of a banking question, but uh, there have been banks who have closed and they're covered by PDIC. Like my deposits are covered, right? Up to, I think, 500,000. The 500, Philippine 000. Deposit Insurance. But that, but that is insurance, right? PDIC is in, yes. uh, insurance. So is that part of, let's say, if, I, if I, my bank closes and I have some savings, savings there, can I go to the insurance commission and, and say, claim it? But my, my deposit is in, insured? I, I can I can claim the insurance commission. No, uh, oh. PDIC is not under the jurisdiction of the insurance okay. commission. Mm. It's a separate entity and mm. it is created, I think, by a charter. Mm -hmm. So there was really a law, mm -hmm. okay, creating PDIC okay. and, and requiring such entity mm -hmm. to cover. Mm, those deposits. deposits oh, so. And just for the benefit of our viewers, what Rod is talking about is mm. that all your deposits are insured but mm. only up to the amount of 500,000 pesos. Right. So, mm. kung nagsara yung mm. banko nyo, you can claim up to 500,000 pesos mm. from the from PDIC, PDIC, not yeah, insurance Philippine commission. Philippine Deposit oh. Insurance Corporation. Okay. okay. Alright, let's continue answering the questions man, sent to us by our viewers. Starting with Boy. Alright. Is it possible that I cancel the insurance policy I applied for and get a refund? Will the insurance company approve the refund? What are the valid reasons for cancelling uh, an insurance policy? Well, the insured has the right to cancel a, the insurance. But um, of course, at the moment he cancels the insurance, then the coverage will be lost. Yeah. But and you can, um, can you claim a refund? the premiums may not be refunded uh, because mm -hmm. he was the one he was who covered canceled already. it. Mm -hmm. He was already covered at that yeah. from but the, the whole have... amount of the premium, I should uh, say. Okay. Because if, let us say, for example, um, I. I insured my property for a year mm -hmm. and then after a month, mm -hmm. I decided to cancel it. Of mm -hmm. course, the remaining 11 months, there's no risk attached to that. If I paid the premium upfront for the whole year, mm -hmm. then... He can refund the For remaining... the unexpired or the unexpired portion. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's a good clarification. Right. Right. And then we have a que question from Twitter. Uh, it's at domskidot. What if the adjuster has a different appraisal than the actual repair costs? Which should prevail? Okay, so it's a very technical mm. question, no? It, I guess it's pro a appraisal. property insurance. Your yeah. adjuster is different from the appraisal. Hmm. Um, but from a, kumay, kumay issue on from the, a legal perspective, yeah. may say ba dito yung insurance commission kung ano yung prevail Yes, provided that that would be within the jurisdictional amount. Mm -hmm. The commission can decide on the value Mm -mm. of the property at the time of the loss. Ah, so ah, you, you okay. can adjudicate yes. that. Okay. Uh -oh. So basically, to answer that question, it's not necessarily na mas tama yung appraisal or mas tama yung adjuster. It's more of the insurance commission will find out yes. kung sino sa dalawa yung tama. Mm -hmm. One may be given weight over mm -hmm. the other, but um, still, it is a question of fact. Mm -hmm. ah, okay. okay. Depending on the expertise, siguro, and the experience of, of that uh, adjuster or yes. uh, we take that into consideration which should be proven before right. the commission okay. granting of course that the jurisdiction it is within the jurisdictional amount of the commission okay, okay. and uh, uh, finally Virgie sent us this question I just uh, bought a house and want to uh, and I want to get a property insurance for it how do insurance companies uh, compute for the value of an applicant's property aside from the property insurance what else should I get okay um, more of a business insurance business companies advice normally require an um, independent appraiser mm -hmm. to have your property appraised so mm -hmm. that they could be able to value the mm -hmm. premiums that you have to, to pay mm -hmm. for the coverage of that um, property. Yeah. Is it possible, like for example, if the market value of this house is only $3 million, and I say, I want to insure it for $5 million, so that just in case ha something happens, um, I'll get $5 million. I suggest you, you must not insure it for $5 million because oh. then again, yeah. a, a contract of insurance on property or non-life is a contract of indemnity. Oh, so kung ano lang yung nawala mo, that's yeah. what they yes. will compensate. You can make money yeah. out of so it. So you would be uh -oh. paying higher premium. At mm -hmm. the end of the day, you, 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 not, you, you do not get paid 5 million because the value of the property is only 3 billion. Mm. So okay. hindi, hindi ka pwede mang isa by getting insurance, right? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and then, hindi, hindi pwede yun. You cannot uh -oh. make, in other words, you can't make 
money, make it, you can't make it a business or no. something. Mm-hmm. Unless, of Uh-oh. course, it's kind of an insurance that it has uh, kind of like uh, investment life. involved. Can, yeah. And you, you were mentioning about universal plans, right? Universal plans have kind of... Universal uh, life. Insurance. Universal life can have uh, investment aspects it, to it. It can have an investment aspect. Okay. okay. Right. Attorney Chris, I'm also curious ito naman insurance fraud oh, yeah. diba we always hear about the rumors mm. minsan lalo mm. na yung mga nalulugin business and they say na sinunog yan on purpose para makapag-claim oh, yeah. na lang sa insurance to make money yeah, yeah. what does the insurance commission do about those things may nag-complain na ba sa inyong insurance company and then you prosecute an individual you insured for inducing for instance a fire or whatever to claim property insurance I have no knowledge of a, a, a complaint such like that but mm-hmm. um the new code um, makes such claim, fraudulent cl- cl- claim, a criminal liability. There's a criminal Crim- liability for uh, such. Ah, okay. So, uh, pwedeng mangyari that's a na new provision. sa complain. That's okay. a new provision. Ah, mm-hmm. oh, yes. Since you mentioned mm-hmm. this new 2013 insurance code mm-hmm. amendments, ano ba yung ibang highlights nito? I read something about for government employees, they can now have the premiums deducted directly from their salary. Yes, they can have an agreement with their with cashier the or mm-hmm. their treasurer of but the of the government institution, wherein an employee of such institution gets an insurance cover from an insurance company. the The payment of the premium can now be coursed through a salary deduction. Okay, mm-hmm. it's specifically provided for in the new code. I see. I see. Which was not um, just which was not contained in the old. Mm. Right. Any other code. important provisions? Yeah. Increase in capitalization. That is to make sure that mm. um, the co- insurance company or a company wanting to mm. do insurance business is economically viable and financially you know, feasible. Okay. So what, that, are the, um, the what are the things public. you? What are the things you cannot insure? I mean, there, I know there are several types. Right? There's maritime insurance, there's fire insurance. Is there? Are there certain things you cannot insure? I mean, like. Uh, any kind of contingency? Are, are there specific contingencies? Para that, ngayon lahat na insure oh, na even dogs. Yeah. I, 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 know, I know. There was someone offering to me pet insurance. Mm. So para so lahat na no. insure na. No, but but I, um, it always depends on the it always depends on the insurance companies offering mm. products mm. because you may insure something. You may think that something is insurable, but if there's no Kasi insurance kung, company offering for insurance example, if I, product, I have a game of chance. No? For example, I go to a barangay and say, okay, anyone who can shoot twenty three out of twenty five three-point shots will win one million pesos. Can I insure that? That's wagering. Ah, okay. It cannot be insured. So, there you go. Mm-hmm. So, if it's wagering, it cannot be. Even if it's based partly on skill? Yes. Oh, even. It's ah, because right. there's luck. There's, there's luck, still luck. Yeah. All right. Mm-hmm. Okay. Now, unfortunately, that is all the time that we have. I have so many more questions, actually, mm-hmm. but let's, let's talk to them off, off camp. Parang you're <laughs> cooking up something, Rod. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We'd like to thank our guest, Attorney Chris Rafal, Chief Public Assistance and Mediation Division uh, of the Insurance Commission of the Philippines, for being with us tonight. I'm Attorney Rod Nipomuseno. And I'm Attorney Karen Jimeno. Join us again ne- next Monday as we discuss your legal rights. Good night.